early in spring, when the daffodils are blooming. Many of us on the waterfront aren't thinking that much about daffodils. We're thinking about the first of the fish that arrive. Squid, squid, they're the sign of spring. The squid comes sw swimming into Nantucket Sound and, and they fill the water. They fill the harbor. They travel. We love squid. Now, you may not like squid. And many don't. I have friends come up to me and they, I say, do you like squid? And they look at me in a confused fashion. Well, I look back at them and I said, you may not like squid, but if you like to eat fish, the fish you eat, eat squid. Now I remember years ago, years ago, we're talking 20, 30 years ago, there was, when the squid came swimming in the Nantucket Sound, there were fishing boats all around. Lots of them. And many of them were really big. And they'd all load up. Because you see, squid from Nantucket Sound was world famous. The squid that was harvested in the spring would be frozen on board those big freighter factory ships and then shipped all around the world. Now we don't have a song on Martha's Vineyard about squid, but there is one in Newfoundland. Now let me show you. This is what a squid looks like. Now if you're a recreational fisherman and you like squid for bait, there are many of you who go down to Memorial Wharf or they go down to the waters of Menemsha and they go fishing for squid. Looks just like this one. And what they do is they take a jig, and this is a jig right here, and they lower it into the water and they jog, jig it up and down like that. Now the squid is not a very smart animal, but there's one thing a squid has that other fish also have, and that is a sense of curiosity. So you don't even have to have a baited lure to drop it down in the water. You don't even have to put bait in front of them. They come up and they have a curiosity and they come up and they check that out. And my goodness, the man at the top grabs it and brings the squid out of the water. Now, the fun part begins because everybody who's trying to catch squid notices and knows that the squid will squirt ink into the air, squirt ink at the fishermen. So when I'm standing down at Memorial Wharf, Wharf and I'm watching these fishermen fishing, they do a little dance because as that squid comes out of the water, he may try and squirt you. I actually saw a man fall overboard, fall right into the water because he was trying to avoid get shot at by the squid. And this is called squid jigging. And it's very popular among young fishermen in the age of 8, 9, 10, and 11. So here's this song. It comes from Newfoundland about squid jigging. Fishermen gather with their oilskins and boats, Cape Bounds bobbing down, with all kinds of figures in squid lines and jiggers. They congregate here on the squid jigging ground. Some are working their jiggers while others are yearning. There's some standing up, but there's more lying down. When all kinds of fun jokes and tricks are begun As we wait for the squid on the squid jigging ground Jake 
Jacob Steele He's a getting well off But he's still rather sound While Uncle Bob Hawkins Wears three pairs of stockings Whenever he's out on the split shaking ground God bless me a southwester There's old skipper Chafee He's the best man a squid jigging Here I'll be bound And hope What's the row? Why he's catching one now The very first squid on the squid jigging ground All hands are excited It's a wonderful bustle it's amazing to me that no one is drowned. What a wonderful bustle, a bustle of confusion. We're all catching squid on the street. Jacob, his whiskers are covered with the spots of the squid juice flying around. When one little by God gets him right in the eye, and he's swearing like mad on the squid shaking ground. The squid are on top of the water I just hooked me jigger By one fathom down When a squid in his boat Squirts him right down the throat And he's swearing like mad On the squid jigging ground So if ever you're inclined To go out a squid jigging Just leave your white shirts And your collars in town and if you have a weak stomach and are bound to get seasick you better steer clear of us